La Grande Chantier is an industrial project that will work in phases. Also, I'm aware I'm going to pronounce lots of things incorrectly. Uh, I partly do it to trigger all of you. <laughs> That's right, the goatee is making me a super villain. I still have to blink though, ow. What's going on everyone? It's me, yeah boy- oh. Can't use a camera rambler here, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron- oh my god. Hearts of Iron 4, The Gates of Versailles. Now, it's quite rare nowadays that we actually get a- oh my lighting. Now, it's quite rare nowadays that a mod is just uploaded to the workshop, and it actually is complete with tons of focus trees, an alternate history setting, and a completed map. It, 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 but this this one has. It's first uh, release, and, and it's already got tons of content. Wow. <laughs> Admittedly, I've played quite a few recently uh, that, that hasn't. In fact, most mods released um, are, just, are just ones that have pretty much no content. In fact, one on the front page at the moment, not to... Not to not to insult modders, because honestly, they keep my career going at this point. But one of the mods that's that's on the front page at the moment is just is just saying that they're going to create a mod. And it's one of the most subscribed workshops uh, mods of the week. But it has no content whatsoever. There is no mod yet, just a workshop post. Um, it would be great if people could just, just wait until there's content for people to try the mod first. Before we go ahead and, and, and start just... Throw it, throwing stuff up again. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm sounding, I'm sounding like it's, it's. Uh, I'm sounding a bit like of a, a, an a hole, but you know, I need good mods to play, please. Anyway, now that kind of little rant is over, uh, we're back uh, and we're playing a mod called The Gates of Versailles. So the mod is based around the idea of what if uh, the Napoleonic conflicts ended in a complete stalemate. The point of divergence is when the Battle of Trafalgar proved indecisive and later France gets bogged down in the Peninsular War. So the Napoleonic conflicts end with France having to retreat from its Central European territories. And a whole century of history later we find ourselves in 1914, so the Great Conflict begins. Uh, the Entente, consisting of France, Russia and the UK, face off against the Central Powers. And the Entente narrowly wins. Uh, but the map looks completely different now. This is what it looks like. Bit of a mess. Uh, however, France appears to be quite chonky. Somehow Mexico controls British Columbia, which is a bit odd because they definitely didn't in history as far as I'm aware. I know the Spanish had a claim to it at some point, but then the Brits just came in and were like, no, it's ours now. And then that was it. Well, not not, not entirely, but I did. Oh, I guess that could have been a segment in Rambler's History Corner. Um, but you know what? No History Corner today. <laughs> I was trying to hit the history corner as an experiment, but it appears that if I talk about uh, things that involve lots of conflicts, etc. at the start of the video, um, then the ad rates appear to decrease. But I'm still willing to do history corner in the future. Um, just, just let me know in the comments if you still want it to continue. And of course, if you want more Hearts of Iron 4, let's get 5,000 likes. So, uh, the nations with focus trees are currently Austria, Prussia, France, Russia, the UK, Italy, China and Mongolia. Now, I feel it would be amiss that if I didn't at least give um, France a try, seeing as it, this is what the mod is based around, the real big thing of the French Empire still being alive. Vive la France! It would be interesting to try and play as the Italian Confederacy. Uh, Austria is led by that guy. Okay. If the mod is quite fun, then I, then I might do multiple videos of it, really. Yeah, let's try, let's try as Napoleon VI. The Napoleonic Wars would forever shape the history and politics of France. Being the sole victor, Napoleon reaffirmed his role in France and Europe despite having had a... Ding dong. Oh, I actually can't say that. The Great Kerfuffle would prove to be detrimental to France as the Jacobins kept being tyrannically prosecuted after they kidnapped Napoleon V's daughter. With the death of Napoleon V, Napoleon VI became the head of state in France. He is still a young boy, but has shown interest in reconquering Europe. Uh, so yes, there will, be, there will be the French Empire. And away we go. So this is the focus tree. It's quite... wow we That is a chonky boy. Right, so we have uh, Vive la Empire, Vive la Frau. There's no descriptions. Oh, there is there. Okay. Or we could do a democratic transition. The empire must be transitioned. Napoleon the Sixth is dead. 
but he's only a little young gun, isn't he? A, a young whippersnapper. So in our faction, which is the Continental Alliance, we have uh, me, <laughs> Westphalia, these little German states, Baden and Wittenberg. We have Switzerland. Is that the two Sicilies down there? And is that the Fear Notion Occidentally Francais? So we've got a chunky faction. And the only other faction to oppose us is the Adriatic Pact under Mr. Mussolini and that fellow. Only nine military factories. That's not a lot. Does Prussia have a pretty sweet tree? Yeah. All right. What about Austria? Does that have a pretty sweet tree? Yeah. Looking all right. But let's go for Vive la Republic. Vive la France. And here we go. Oh, welcome to the case of Versailles. All right. Uh, let's do La Grande Chantier. La Grande Chantier is an industrial project that will work in phases. Also, I'm aware I'm going to pronounce lots of things incorrectly. Uh, I partly do it to trigger all of you. <laughs> That's right, the goatee is making me a super villain. I still have to blink though, ow. Oh, Charles de Gaulle is a blitzkrieg theorist. Sure, mate, sure. So I do need to worry about that. Yeah. Got a democratic coup too. No, that's not good. Okay, uh, I'm still going to be a bit of. Um, ooh, uh, you know, do you know what? Yeah, let's get an extra research slot. <laughs> what the heck is... <sighs> um, uh, oh, by the way, uh, I'm aware content output has been a bit slow recently. I'm still, I'm still umming and ahhing about doing potential like mini series. So maybe like uh, three or four parts, um, just to like maybe increase the output flow of content. So there'll be longer and slightly less edited um i don't know if people want that or if they want the same i prefer keeping an experience within one video but yeah our industry is really quite nice at the moment oh hello george hello the rule of britannia imperial federate the shame of quebec yeah time and time again has been shown that the british adventure in canada have been ever unsuccessful i know the feeling <laughs> uh I do actually quite like the setting for this mod. It, it, it's quite an interesting scenario. The Latin Cup. Every four years. Hmm. Well, good for Italy, I guess. Oh, the Spanish Empire's still a boot. Huh. So obviously for a first release, this has a fair amount of content. But they probably... I hope they keep it up, keep, keep updating this. Certainly got potential. So far. So I, I could do passive diplomacy. But I'd rather do aggressive diplomacy. And uh, actually conquer things. Uh, that was a problem um, with the end of the new that I had with the end of the new beginning mod is that you you couldn't attack anyone. It, it it was all historically aligned, which I know kind of makes sense because it's meant to be played over a period of what like two hundred years. <gasps> Sacre bleu! Is this the end of the monarchies? Not if I have anything to do with it. They've been granted asylum in New South Wales. Oh, oh and they're in a big old chonky faction. They formed the Commonwealth. Oh, nice. Got some of that. Me likey. Wow, British West Africa seems heavily f f f f manned. Blimey. The October events. Oh, a series of attacks have happened in our glorious capital, Paris. One at the Gare du Nord, second at a cafe, and the last one at a shop. We have also reported over 430 wounded. It's the pesky British. So I'm trying to modernise my army, but at the same time, I really don't really want to. I don't, um, I'm kind of out. Um, then I don't know. I don't, 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 don't have enough equipment. Oh my! I'm already on extensive conscription. <sighs> La solution radical. There's. I, I, I don't have any. I don't know. Oh, there's no actual events or decisions. Wonder what Prussia is going to get up to. Don't try and form Germany. I'll have to intervene. Hmm. The Duchy of Mecklenburg, the smallest of the German states, has become part of Prussia. It grows. I don't know what the final. <laughs> it's probably not good, is it? Just say the army handles it. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm clicking on there. All right, aggressive diplomacy. No one likes me. Good. Ah, the new dream, and we can do the great campaign. France wants to buy the region of Catalonia. Oh, yeah, sure. And if they say no, I just go on in. <laughs> Oh, Alex, you're so intelligent. <laughs> Charles de Gaulle flees to Switzerland. I'm unsure what's happened to my faction, though. Oh, no, they're still in. They're still in. Okay. Oh, no, they've left. Yeah, Switzerland's left. Well, guess I have to conquer them. 
I think that was to do with my final thing. I, I, still a bit unsure as to what that was. I think they're just purging all of your opposition for like an absolute monarchy. Somehow though, he's still my Blitzkrieg theorist. I probably want to sort that out, mate. Pay Spain for Catalonian region. And if I just stick some motivation for them to say yes, they don't know my army isn't really equipped, nor under any form of leadership. Switzerland <laughs> declared war on Switzerland. Of course they did. Let them burn. Oh, they said yes. Okay, I just paid and I got Barcelona. That's nice of them. Faction restructuring. The original members of the Continental Alliance and could self heat self rush. I'll leave that alone for now then. Let's build up our military first. Build up till I'm all big and strong. Do you want to join me again, Switzerland? Oh, Charles de Gaulle fled to Switzerland and then incited a civil war. Of course he did. Ah, de Gaulle. Oh, the old rivals are at it again, are they? Prussia v Denmark. I wonder who will win. Let's do the Great Campaign and get myself some war support. It's going up slowly, but you can never have too much, can you? Economic payments to Spain? Oh, if I just conquer them, will I still have to pay those? Oh, to no surprise, Denmark lost. Classic Denmark, am I right? Sardinian revolt. We will crush those peasants. They've already taken my access to the island. Though. Oh, for pity's sake, I'm going to have to naval invade now. Uh, how dare they rebel against me? How dare they? That really messes up my economy, you absolute... <sighs> All right, in we go. Austria declared war on Hungary. Ooh, cheeky. How many divisions do they have here, I wonder? Enough to keep, like, reinforcing. I've made a grave error here. My troops aren't going to survive. Oh, this is like Gibraltar. They have five divisions just protecting the coastline. Oh, mate. Oh, what the heck? I really wish events like that would pop up. Um, I didn't know that the two Sicilies had just been incorporated into the Italian Confederation. That just happened without any of my knowledge. No, 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 no. what? What? But I've somehow taken back. Wait, no! Oh, of course they got incorporated too. What is happening? There really should be a pop up for that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, it's happening. It's happening. It's the North German Confederation. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm breaching Flemish neutrality. And what are they going to do? Nothing. That's what. Bam. This new French Empire sucks. Alright, let's see what they got. Now, I have overwhelming force. Well, come on. Finally. Oh my god. You know it's embarrassing when you can barely beat the Netherlands, don't you? Hoi. Now to mess you up. Do, do, do. Sorry, Wilhelmina. You're coming in to me now. Okay, Netherlands puppet. Oh, I'm yes. I'm just going to take those states. Why not? I was being nice before, but yeah, we'll puppet them. There we go. We've got a nice chonky block. A nice chonky chonky chonk. Well, then I believe that should unlock. French Empire must dominate the Benelux. What do you think this is, mate? So I need to own Holland. So I wasn't. Oh. So I wasn't meant to puppet them. I was meant to dominate them, which I mean, which I guess would mean just occupying, like taking all states. So that means I can't do these focuses if you puppet. Why give me the focus to puppet? I assume that's what I was meant to do. Should have just been conquer. No, I could have just conquered it. I could have just conquered it, and no one have had any of these problems. Oh, let's have a speech against Britain then. Why not? <laughs> Today, Emperor Napoleon held a speech in Paris. The theme of the speech was Great Britain and how France are internal enemies. <laughs> okay, let's lower the autonomy. Now we just need to... Oh, is that a thousand to annex? Okay, added a thousand convoys. I, I, I know this is really a bad way of doing it, but I know I shouldn't use the console for these kind of things, but I, I think I'd like... I, I... I'm just kind of at the stage where I'm just I get kind of very I just get frustrated with, with how some of the mechanics and once you once you've had 1700 hours in a game oh my gosh you do want things to work as they should maybe I'm wrong and I've done something scummy but oh well who won ah Henry Goussin Henri sorry Henri not Henry all right Henry okay bish bash bosh you're mine now that should unlock the focus tree At least we can puppet Wuttenberg now. In which case, no, I will annex everything. Um, I do wonder sometimes when the AI deems it appropriate to only put one division here, but 13 here. Uh, 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 I don't know. The AI should know better than me. But does it? 
Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to annex Wuttenberg, which is kind of annoying because Baden is still independent. I don't know. Like, I don't, I, it says to pop it, but I think if I... I probably need to just annex, right? Annex everything? Because I just want to have this. I want to topple fascism in Austria. Let me add a strike at Bavaria. But of course, Bavaria looks a little chonky, don't they? Wow. They're probably going to do okay. And then, then, there we go. Yeah. Uh, Mecklenburg cannot exist. Oh, wait. No. Yes. No. Mecklenburg has to exist. Damn. So because they don't exist, you're unable to continue with the focus tree. Is that what I'm... Maybe I'll get to bypass it. I'm finding flaws in this... <laughs> in the mod. Oh, no, no. It's impressive at the sheer number of divisions that they've been able to field. Just as a little state. Most impressive. It is just infantry, though, so my troops should be able to push. We have here superiority, too. The fact that I am unable to easily defeat Wurttemberg. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I will be able to do that, right? Because... Oh, it's Mecklenburg. No, then I can't do it. Mecklenburg doesn't exist anymore. Because it got incorporated into the German Confederation. Send in the tank. And despite being attacked from three different... Oh, they've got Rommel. No wonder they can hold. How dare they. Well, this is going to be quite baffling, but I'm going to have to send my entire main French army. This is embarrassing. Okay, so Mr. Tanky attacks, then everyone else does too. And then it should just be a case of strolling through. <laughs> Just kidding, my army sucks. I think we're finally making progress. Maybe they just run out of manpower. That's <laughs> yeah, I think they're just running out of manpower, but I've still lost almost 200k attacking this. And my divisions aren't bad. Current ruling party is monarchist. I'm a volatarian. I'm a volatarian! So I can't go to... Oh my god. <laughs> there are some things in this mod that require improvement. Then we go for Bavaria. I think Bavaria has less divisions. What? Bavaria has left. <laughs> oh my giddly goo! How do they. they, they, they were so, they were so chonky compared to the. Alright. I'll just puppet Bavaria. Yeah. I guess I could just manly justify. Should be like, yo. I'm gonna kick your ass. Is it worth it though? Accords de Genevieve. Okay. We are simply protecting our people. Oh, they came back in. Nice. Alright. Keep Baden on French influence. Let me occupy Baden. Baden, Baden, Baden. Actually, Baden, Baden is a really nice area. Uh, the same with the Black Forest. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it appears the German Confederation didn't try and stop me. Westphalia becomes puppet of the French Empire. Weren't they already? Were they, oh, they were both in the faction, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I think it might be time to remove fascism. Actually, do you know what? I want freaking Sardinia back, you asshole. Uh, I don't know how this... I don't know how our navy will do, but... Uh, uh, can it be worse than the Italians? I guess we'll find out. I really hope my Indochina declare... Ah, oh, come on, mate! Just let them win the war. I don't want to be in the war. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Wait, there's more than one division. Balls? Oh. Siam joined. I see. I would have just let it fall. I don't really care that much about this area. I, I mean, I need to protect the rubber, obviously, but... Ah. Oh. This is the change to a map that I haven't really seen much before. Or has this changed recently and I just haven't been aware? Where? Oh, I guess I do have some troops Aye. I could send down there. Alrighty. Let's send down some troops to try and just hold this little bit of territory, shall we? Oh, they have a lot of divisions. They're just they're just flopping them out, I guess. Oh, maybe Poland wants to join me. Austria declaring war on Poland. Huh, where have we seen that before? <laughs> Poland, you want to join me? Why would you disable the feature to invite? Come on, man. Come on. Still got 100 days before... Urgh. Okay, Poland, you have to hop. Oh, they're pushing. Well, I must say, I am very proud of Poland for what they are achieving. Good on you, sir. The Italian-Polish war... I mean, they're taking a lot more casualties, but... Don't worry, not long before I come in and assist. I hope. Oh, yeah, baby. No more economic payments to Spain. Take that. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's go. Now can I change my conscription law, please? <sighs> Apparently not. And in fact, at this rate, Italy's gonna... 
push me. So we have area of superiority by having zero planes up there. That's great. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's get some cas. Give some support to our boyos. Oh, shite. Clearly not doing a very good job of intercepting, are they? Come on. I'm going to run out of fuel, so I guess I'll just have to be like, Oi, Mexico, got any more fuel for me, baby? Uh, at least Austria is just kind of throwing themselves onto me. Not really making much progress either. Ew. Lots of naval battles going on, and I, I think I have the advantage. Who knows, though? Uh, a lot of them are actually re trying to repair. So maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Italy did have a pretty chonky navy. All right. Kudos to you, I guess. If I decided to do a bit of a charge now, how would that go? A little bit better. Uh, I don't imagine that they have too much manpower left. 124,000 manpower. They do have, oh my gosh, a reformed economy. Italy? Sacre bleu. Oh, where's my tungsten? Come on, Portugal. Give me that tungsten, please. Don't you know I'm fighting a war here? Come on now. I will, uh, I will eventually. I will eventually win in the skies. Oh, look at that. Hey, we did an encirclement in the Alps. A true Hannibal move. How's Poland doing? Very well. Finally, my military is actually being fairly effective. At least more effective than it was in, in, the, in the lower German states. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I don't think that they can beat my tanks. If I started doing some uh, micro, well I can't really at the moment. Oh actually yeah, Florence, no, no go down here. Yes they're weaker down here. And then we keep moving. Oh they move to stop me. <laughs> I will win. Boom, we're in there. Then we just, oh come on now. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu mon ami. Oh yeah then we just go in like bam. And we've almost encircled quite a number of divisionos. You see? That's how encirclements work. That's a rambler top t But rate it, Reddit. Aye. What this what has just happened here? Socialist Republic of Italy. Austria service and Sweden Sweden. Brilliant. I got the encirclement though, not that it really matters now. Alright. Italian Confederation have surrendered, and with that, Austria will fall pretty soon, I think. Oh, well, Venice also. Okay. What? But they were pushing. They were pushing, and now they're... What? <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> Ready our rivals. Um, this could be the end. My darling friend, the end. Why aren't you doing anything? War of the Eighth Coalition. Okay. Can I take your forces? Yeah, I could just take 71 divisions. I will use you to garrison frickin' everything, mate. Yes, I start using my puppet's man powers. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? All along. There we go. Yep. Of course naval invasions would happen immediately. How? How could they have had that planned? I ask thee. I'm now in a war of the Eighth Coalition. <laughs> I did not ask to be in this war. I am forced into it. Um, I just need to get rid of Austria pretty zippity quick. So, uh, all out, all out, final push. Doink. I took Prague. If I can finish Austria, then I then I might be able to plan a naval invasion of the UK. Actually, I can probably get on my air for uh, five, six hundred planes. What a... a I want ultimate aerial superiority from now until the end of time. Begin the production. Oh, I should have already been doing this. Getting some freaking naval bombers. Yes, sir. There's one sound that really, really triggers me on Hoy. It's the it's the naval invasion sound. I can't stand it. <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, we push across the river, then beeline to Vienna, uh, attack with everything else. Despite that being a level four fort, doink. Okay, Austria should surrender now. I took Budapest, please. Oh, yay! I'm just gonna puppet them. The ultimate insult i just need their manpower really that's uh, if they have if they've actually got any left because oh we're chunking because we're chunking are they even trying to contest me in the air they're not even bothering what about here oh ah, yes they'll contest me there but they 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 haven't got a leg to stand on oh my god look at those exchanges yes thank you deploy more fighters I will have aerial superiority, even if it costs me all the oil in the world. Oh, I didn't even realise that they had Egypt. Uh, oh, 
I didn't much notice that either. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm not really paying attention much, am I? I'm so focused on one particular area that I don't really care about the rest. Um, I have no idea where their army is, nor do I care. I now just <laughs> will take everything. <laughs> what the heck? I guess I'll get my tanks over there too. And just go ham. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They weren't garrisoning. Ning, ning, ning. Yes. You may annihilate when ready. Take all states. Um, this time, I guess to add insult to injury, I, I will occupy some of the the English. Just, 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 just the south. Just the southeast. And then I'll puppet the rest. <laughs> and satellite Scotland. Now I'm still technically at war. Oh, God. Wait, am I still at war? I'm at war with the... Oh, Indo-Union, etc, etc. Okay, but that's where I think I'm going to leave this uh, mod. It's, it's definitely got promise. There's there's some decent features. The focus trees are pretty fun. Uh, little, a little few frustrating things that just need to be ironed out. But yeah, good work. I enjoyed that. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to see more, do comment, like, subscribe. And I'll be back with more content very soon. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutterstovic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Kaiser Davidrist, Tad House, Cobby Was Taken, Active Osprey, Matt Zuvu, Just Made This for Alex, Woop Woop, Vaish, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Dave the Don Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goozy Dibs, Ya yeah Boy, Wombat Cookie, Daff Elkin, Ryan Cock, Jack Truco, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, Log and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous brand supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the patrons too, other patrons too, oh my god. <laughs>